Hi guys, as I said, I was going to reintroduce who I am, where I come from, why I started this, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's a lifestyle that kind of gets in your blood and you can't stop. <laughs> I've tried several times, but I can't stop. Uh, it's just a, a feeling of freedom that... I never get any other way. Uh, it, uh, it, it's kind of even hard for me to understand at times, but I love the lifestyle. I started this lifestyle. I was really trying to recalculate how long it's been. And basically, my son is going to be 37 in November. I started this 38 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 38 years ago. Didn't start because I wanted to. Uh, it started because my son's father, who has passed away since, um, he, he, he just didn't want to work very much, okay? He was not the ambitious type at the time. And we ended up living in a tent during the cold weather. This is before my son was even thought of, more or less born, you know. And it was a necessity. And I hated it. I hated it. Oh, God. Just the thought of... Living in a tent? Ugh! Terrible. I was used to living in a house and having a job and, you know, the, the everyday normal lifestyle. So, we, we did this for almost a year until I got mad and I said, that's it. We went from a tent to a van, an old van. <laughs> We ended up getting another vehicle, and I just kind of got fed up one day, and I said, this isn't working, and you can go your way, I'm going my way, but I'm going to go live in a house. My kids are going to live in a house. Well, I took off. He followed we lived in a house. I had my son, my baby boy, and we lived in the house. <laughs> and everything was fine, you know. I, I was happy. I was living in a house. I went and I got a job. I was working at a convenience store. And he went to work in the oil field. And everything seemed okay. But then all of a sudden I started getting this feeling, God, I would love to be out there. There's so much to see and so much places to go to. So after about like five years, no, not even that long. Yeah, about five years, decided, okay, enough is enough. I've got to have my freedom. So we attempted this again. Not him and me, me and my kids. Nope, that ended a couple of years later, and it was just such a wonderful feeling to be able to go wherever you want it and do whatever you want and not have no restrictions. And the more I lived it, the more I liked it. But for my kids, I decided, okay, we'll go back into a house. Yeah, we'll go back home. Okay. Nope, we weren't happy. Or I wasn't happy. But I did it for the kids. And when my daughter turned 17, she got married. And I decided, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm ready to go. Um, I still had my youngest son, who followed me wherever I went. <laughs> but I continued doing this lifestyle. And I didn't stop. I, I would live in the house for maybe couple of months and then I, I was ready to go again. I, I just 
could not stand the four walls that kept me in one place. It, it was like claustrophobia. Claustrophobic, I think that's the word. That's the way I felt. I, I needed to be out there. I did not want those four, four walls around me that restricted me from going anywhere. So I did it again. <laughs> I went back out. And I've been doing it ever since. Uh, yeah, I stayed in a house for about six months. Yeah. And then I had to go. Had to go. Seeing the same thing over and over again. Oh, my God. <laughs> it got so boring. Trees in the same place. Neighbors in the same place. Everything. Nothing moved. Nothing was different. So... I just thought, okay, I'm back on the road. I uh, I took off, and I did go to Oregon. And I stayed there a few weeks. Oregon, I loved Oregon. I was in uh, southeast Oregon. It's beautiful up there, just beautiful. But I stayed there a couple of weeks, and then I came back to Phoenix. That's when I heard that my friend was who became my husband uh, that he was in the hospital so when I went to visit him he had asked me to marry him no oh, I've been in love with him for years anyway so I said yeah but I knew he was dying I knew he was dying and I knew time wasn't going to be very long so We got married in April. He died in July. I took care of him to the end. And then I said, you know, I got to go again. I, this is not, I don't want to stay here. He's still with me. I've still got his ashes. But uh, I I decided to get back on the road again. And I have, it's been like nonstop since. I, that was uh, 2016. 2016 and I just to to think of even staying in one place was almost frightening to me it really was I don't know why it was frightening to me but it was so anyway I continued doing this lifestyle and then I met Noah uh, it was a tragic meeting <laughs> because my van at the time uh, the what was it, the starter yeah. was messed up? Yep. So I had just met him. Frozen. Huh? It was shorted out. Yeah, it shorted out. So I had just met Noah. I mean, I didn't know him from Adams, you know, but he helped me out. And uh, he went on his way, and I was heading, I think I was heading to back to Arizona. I believe that's what my plans were. I'm not sure, but I knew I was going to stop in Oklahoma. Oklahoma and visit some friends, huh? Oklahoma crystals too. Well, that's when we that's when we yeah, traveled thinking, together. You were thinking about that. Oh yeah, over to the uh, salt crystals. Oh, that, which is awesome. Uh, salt crystals are just awesome. Um. Anyway, I uh. He went his way. I went my way. And it was really raining at the time, and I don't like to drive in the rain because there's too many people that don't know how to drive in the rain, and accidents happen. So I stopped in Mena, Arkansas, and uh, at the Walmarts there, two days, nothing but solid rain. Meantime, Noah and I were talking to each other on the phone, and he was telling me he was at Shady Lake, and it was really nice up there, and that it was like a 30-day free, you know. So I always go for the word free. <laughs> I know. Um, so anyway, we, he said, well, why don't you come up here? I said, okay, why not? It sounds like a really neat place, and it really was. I parked my <coughs> van, which, by the way, I did get it fixed. I got the starter fixed. <laughs> I parked my van and uh, right by a stream. And it was so nice to listen to that water rippling down. Oh, it was so pretty. 
really nice place. And that's where really Noah and I got to know each other. Um, Put your shoulders on. Huh? I put your solar panels on there. Oh, yeah, he put my solar panels on the side of my my van. Uh, it used to be on the roof of my other one, but anyway, he put it on the side, and it worked well. It worked well. Still, we weren't planning on traveling together at all at the time. Anyhow, I wasn't. I don't know what he was planning. He could be kind of sneaky. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, oh, he admits it. Anyway, we both decided... I decided I was going to go to Crystal uh, Crystal Park, which is just north of Norman, Arkansas. <laughs> nice park. Oh, God, that's really a nice place. And so Noah went that way, too. And we were there for two weeks. And then I said, well, I'm on my way. And he was on the way, too. <laughs> we had talked about the salt crystals in... Uh, in Oklahoma, that's where yeah, it's at. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, huh? Northern Oklahoma. It's in northern Oklahoma. Yeah, well, you could actually get these salt crystals. I don't think I have one visible at all. I think I've got them. I don't know where I have it at. Anyway, I'll show it to you one day. Uh, so we decided, okay, we'll go over there. So, him and I have partnered for three years now. April, May will actually be three years, actually, that we started traveling together. Um, so, anyway, we headed out to Salt Crystals. We stopped in Oklahoma uh, at some family friend's house. Or friendly family. Anyway, my, my son, my youngest son's family. We stopped there, uh, did some business, and we headed on to go look at the crystals, salt crystals, which we weren't able to see because it was so soggy there and had been raining there. And we couldn't get to it. <laughs> well, I have got one, but I bought that one. But, uh, Anyway, we, on the way over there, I ended up with a flat. <laughs> Poor Noah has fixed more flats for me. I mean, I, he, he's a tire man. <laughs> he, every time I turned around, I was having a flat. I don't know why. Even with a new tire, I was having a flat. But, uh, so we've been traveling ever since. Uh, we went from there, from Oklahoma, we went on to New Mexico, and then we went on to Colorado, <coughs> which we both love. But that's where my van, the motor blew. <laughs> there was it. And then, thanks to you all, I got the van that just burnt up. But we've been using that van ever since. I mean, Lord have mercy. What? It has to be almost three years. Yeah, close to it. yeah, yeah, because that happened when we got to Oklahoma or to Colorado, and then, yep, yeah, it's been all that long. I didn't even realize it was so long. But we have done quite a bit of traveling. We went from there. We went to Sedona, where I got sick at. <laughs> then we came down to Phoenix, where one of my sons live, and I ended up with a heat stroke there. Uh, or sunstroke, is that what you call it? Sunstroke. And, um, anyway, we went from there, we went back to Texas, and I got sick in Texas, and I had to have surgery in Texas for my eyes, for my eyes. And, uh, anyway, that's basically it. I mean, I've been traveling for years, and I wouldn't change it. I, I, I don't think Noah can imagine living any other way either, can you, Noah? Nope. No. And that's a great thing. We do have so much in common. Though we argue a lot about a lot of stupid things, sometimes we argue about things that we agree on. <laughs> that's how stupid things they are. But 
it's just that one says it one way and the other one says it the other way and one thinks that oh that's not the way and anyway it's ridiculous but we get along great otherwise we laugh a lot he's an idiot <laughs> uh, yep he's shaking his booty he's an idiot <laughs> he's really a very brilliant man I call him my MacGyver because <laughs> he could do almost anything with anything. Uh, I'm sure he can make he can make things stick together forever with just bubble gum. <laughs> so anyway, we have we enjoy our travels together, and neither one of us want to stop this travel. No, we both want this lifestyle. I think. Uh, uh, it's going to be hard for me to ever stop. It's going to be very hard. I, I don't want to imagine it. But uh, I wish you could smell this. He is cooking sausage. And I wish you could smell it because it smells so good. Anyhow, um, so that's basically my lifestyle. For 37 years, 38 years almost. Yeah, because Code will be 37 in November. So for 38 years, on and off, I have been living this lifestyle. When I total it up, I'll say close to 20 years of just constant, more so than stationary. But I would not advise anybody to do it if they're not sure but I would say this it's a wonderful lifestyle it's a beautiful lifestyle you see so much you some of the air that you breathe is amazing I mean amazing considering living in a town um, the beauty and the beauty the beauty of the desert, the forest, the beaches, just ev ev there's so much beauty out there that if you are in one spot, you never get to see it. I've known too many people that have lived all their life in the same state that they lived in, that they still live in, never left the state. Oh, wow, I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine that. But like I say, I, I don't say... Go out, do this lifestyle. It's not for everybody. Not for everybody. And I always say research, research, and more research before you do it. I didn't do that. This was not popular when I started, okay? This was not popular. Now it is, but this was not popular when I started. And uh, I just... Like I do everything, <laughs> just do it. I'm very spontaneous. I want to do something, I'm going to do it. That's it. Nothing going to stop me. And that's basically the way I've lived all my life. <laughs> so, guys, uh, maybe it's a little bit more understanding of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and why I'll never change it. In the meantime, I'm going to say bye because this is a long video. <laughs> Peace. I love you all. God bless you. And keep us in your prayer. We will keep you in our prayers. My friends, I love you all.